Welcome back. Time for Good Call, Bad Call. Caro is back from her break. She's rested. She has the new ball. Caro, Chris Scott is all of us right now. Good Call, Bad Call. Bad Call, and I'll tell you why after we listen to the Geelong coach last week. And I think everyone involved in footy, sort of, as much as we love this time of year, kind of the European summer has some appeal. I guess you need to be AFL CEO to get that opportunity. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Sour grapes. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm embracing the longer days. They're getting longer by the day. There's good coffee around the corner. My hair's good again. <laughs> yeah. Bad call. We'll just power through and do the hard work <laughs> and heavy lifting, Caro. Uh, scoop. The spirit of the game is cooked. Good call, bad call. Uh, slightly over the top call, but you're not absolutely wrong call. I, I was devastated watching this last night. What's it come to that we're stumping a guy at the end of the over to try to... Fair we can, game. We can do better than that. Let's get him out properly, shall we? I could have good call then, Sam. <laughs> Back to self. I agree with that. Well, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good call. Cooked. <laughs> Completely cooked. Uh, one for you, Kate. Freo are lucky to have signed Nat Five for two more years. Good call. <laughs> That's a really cheeky call from you, Lord. Oh, it's a top up his superannuation call. He's injured again, Nat Five. The, the decision to extend his contract, let's be serious for a moment, halfway through this year was one of the more ridiculous things that uh, we have seen from a So you would have let him leave? Space. You would have let him leave? I would have waited until the end of the year to see if he was in one piece before I extended him for another two years. But I feel like we could do this on another show. It's good call, bad call. And <laughs> Matthew Lloyd, uh, speaking of absent friends, Craig Hutchison's innovations, no, no bounce. Good call, bad call. Uh, good call by you, Caro. You've spotted this well. Uh, Hutchie, have a look at the SEN box, and he's got the camera on the outside <laughs> of the glass, so no one at all the other stations or the, to the right of that box can actually see one part of the ground. Has to be stopped, Hutchie. I'm not copying this if I'm in the box 3OW next week. I hear Jimmy Bartell did a good job oh, on behalf okay, of the team. Right, okay. <laughs> Kane, one for you. The Goal of the Year award should be immune to goal review. Good call, bad call. Yeah, it's finally a good call from you. Doesn't it suck the life out of big moments in the game? Now, it wasn't Goal of the Year. Dan Houston beat it later on that night, but it's an excellent goal. The goal umpire's right there. Just send it home. Put your two fingers up and call it a goal. It's obvious, and uh, unfortunately, it did sour the moment somewhat. Caro, the Melbourne Football Club should stop selling games. Good call, bad call. This is a very good call. I feel strongly about this, Matthew. They're an MCG team. They're, MCG is their home. Um, very narrow loss on the weekend. I know they're do, trying to do good work for football in, new, in places like Cairns and obviously Darwin. It crawled Richmond for several years on the Gold Coast, or certainly up at Cairns, I should say. And it probably ended Brett Ratton's career last year at St Kilda. Good Lordo, call. football is all about swings and roundabouts. Good call, bad call. Good call. Okay, that's what makes sports so great. It's the best reality show in the world uh, because of this. So Saturday night, they lose after the siren of Port Adelaide. And by Sunday, Tipper kicks the winning point after the siren against the Gold Coast Suns in the twos. So didn't win the big one, but uh, fantastic to see a bit of joy for a side who has struggled at VFL level. And uh, Sam McClure, you can bring us home. Move over, Razor. There's a new umpire on Media Street. Good Great call, call Caro. Call. call of the night. Simon Plumridge is his name. And I've got to be honest, I absolutely loved it. The man who was making the big call in the Port Adelaide Essendon game, he got put up by the AFL's media department the next day. We had a goal umpire doing a media conference, and I loved it. I, I say bring it well, on. So they won't let Laura Kane speak, but they're letting a goal umpire Don't speak. Don't turn it into a negative. Oh, no. Please. The, cat, the arrow has been and gone. <laughs>